Welcome to the Biological Life Sciences channel. Today in this video we are going to see yeast artificial chromosome that is YAC vectors uh, how it is used for cloning experiments. So let's begin. Uh, yeast artificial chromosome is a human engineered DNA molecule used to clone DNA sequences in yeast cell. These are the vectors which is popularly used in human uh, genome sequencing project or human genome project as this can clone a larger fragment of DNA. YACs are plasmid shuttle vectors capable of replicating and being selected in common bacterial hosts such as E. coli as well as budding yeast such as Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So this vector shuttles in between both the organisms that is eukaryotic as well as prokaryotic. So let us see in details. YAC is an artificially constructed chromosome that contains a centromere. It is also having a telomere. It, most important it is also having autonomous replicating sequence that is ARS sequence. Uh, this element is required for replication and preservation in yeast cell. ARS element are thought to act as a replication origin in eukaryotic cell that is yeast cell here. There is also presence of RIC sites that is helps it, uh, that is helping in replication in bacteria or uh, E. coli. Uh, YAC behaves like a naturally existing chromosome as there is a every property of chromosome present. It uh, provided that they are of proper size and show comparable stability. Uh, now the purpose of YAC here is uh, it is used as a cloning vehicle that propagates in eukaryotic cell as a eukaryotic chromosome and it can clone a very large inserts of DNA such as 100 KB from 100 KB to 10 MB of DNA. The features here YC cloning vehicles are generally plasmids. Uh, final chimeric DNA is linear DNA molecule with a telomer end like artificial chromosome. So it is easily uh, replicated and maintained in uh, yeast. Now you can see here it is how it is amplified in E. coli. It is, it is having relatively small size approximately 12 kb. Uh, it is uh, a circular form in case of E. coli and it is amplified in yeast. It is having very large size uh, around several hundreds of kilobase pairs and it is linear form in yeast. YAC, uh, plasmid YACs, uh, the basic structure feature of YAC were developed from yeast centromere shuttle plasmid that is YCP series. They are composed of double stranded circular DNA sequence carrying the uh, beta lactamase gene BLA and the bacterial PMB1 origin of replication. So it is having PMB1 origin of replication and it is having also beta lactamase gene. Now it includes yeast autonomous replicating sequence for its replication in yeast and it is also having associated centromeric gene that is required for centromere. There is a presence of uh, URA3 gene also that acts, uh, acting as a selectable marker here. It is for uracil biosynthesis. Yeast HIS3 is a flanked by telomer like DNA sequence that are adjacent to recognition sites for BAM H1. So the telomer region is having two sites that is for enzyme BAM H1 here. Uh, most of the YSs also contain the cloning site in the middle of SUP4 suppressor of an orchid allele of trans, uh, tyrosine transferase uh, RNA gene. So this RNA is also present which is required for uh, the tyrosine synthesis in yeast that is amino acid required for growth. So this is the circular map of plasmid YAC or YAC vector. It is around 11,400 base pairs. You can see here when replicated from this end it is having PMB1 or IC site that is helping in replication in bacteria and there is an ARS sequence when replicated on this direction it is autonomously replicating sequence here. The CEN4 is the centromeric gene which makes it a chromosome in yeast. Uh, there is a presence of uh, SUP4 occur gene also. There is a presence of uracil biosynthesis gene, uh, telomer gene and HIS3 gene. Uh, these are the two telomers of the chromosome here uh, and this helps in replication in, in both E. coli and yeast. Construction how it is constructed? First of all plasmid is purified then it is treated with different restriction enzymes. The fragment of interests are added into this and ligated and yeast is transformed using the uh, selectable markers. How it is constructed? It is 
uh, built using an initial circular plasmid. It is typically broken into two linear molecules using restriction enzyme. DNA ligase is then used to ligate a sequence or gene of interest between the two linear molecules and it forms a single large linear piece of DNA along with the fragment of interest. Now you can see here in this, this is how the YAC looks like. There are different genes here and it is cut at this position and the fragment of interest is added here. There are different cloning sites for number of enzymes here. Uh, there is a uh, selectable marker also present here that is uh, URA3 that is uracil biosynthesis in case of yeast which gives the red color to the uh, yeast colonies. Here you can see how it is cut into parts, different parts and the fragment of interest is added in, in between here at this position. You can see from this side the desired G DNA is partially digested using EcoR1 then the fragment of interest out of these fragments are selected which is to be cloned. Now this fragment is taken and added at the center. You can see here at the center the fragment of interest is added. Again this is packed uh, as a plasmid. Uh, there are the presence of telomers in both ends. In yeast it is in linear fashion. You can see here different uh, genes are present. The T -E TEL gene on the both sides of this is the telomeric gene. Uh, that is yeast telomer. AR sequences autonomously replicating sequences. The CEN sequence uh, is the centromeric sequence. Uh, then URA is for uracil biosynthesis. TRP1 is for tryptophan synthesis in yeast. There is also presence of ampicillin resistant that acts as a selectable marker in bacteria. Uh, there is the origin of replication uh, that is a PMB1 origin of replication uh, used here as a replication origin in case of E. coli. The yeast artificial chromosome are special linear DNA vectors that resembles normal yeast chromosome. A YAC contains telomer that stabilizes the chromosome ends. There is a telomer presence on both ends. The centromeric region is present at this uh, center. The cloning site is just uh, next to the centromere gene. There is a selectable marker present for both uh, bacteria that is equal as well as yeast. Uh, they, uh, this centromeric region ensures the chromosome participating between the two daughter cells and it is equally distributed to, uh, along with the all genes in the two daughter cells. Uh, it may carry thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of base pairs of foreign DNA. So it's, it has a capacity to transfer large fragments of DNA. This, is inti uh, this insert gene compensates for the mutation in yeast cell that causes the accumulation of red pig pigments. The host cell are normally red and those transformed with YAC will form a colorless colonies. Cloning of foreign DNA fragment into YAC causes insertional inactivation restoring the red color. The red, red color here is given to the yeast colonies uh, regular color. Uh, it is due to the URA1 gene that is uracil biosynthesis gene. Therefore the colonies that contain the foreign DNA are red. The yeast artificial chromosome vector is capable of carrying the fragment up to 2 MB for stable expression but it can uh, for just cloning uh, it can go up to 10 MB. The transformation efficiency though here is very low so it has to be carefully done. Homologous recombination. In recombinationally targeted YAC cloning, YACs are uh, assembled in vivo by recombination not by ligation. Uh, uh, homologous recombination procedures are used here. Recombination takes place between the target segment of exogenous DNA and YAC vector that contains the sequence homologous to this target. Under certain cloning conditions, this process is used. Firstly, two YAC vectors armed arms and the exogenous segment flanked by desired sequence are transformed into the host cell. It is then followed by recombination. So by natural recombination, this desired sequence is uh, taken or is uh, uh, taken up by the a regular YAC vector, uh, then this results in the formation of desired stable YAC gene. So in, by natural formation, it is more stable. Why it is used? That is how it is used and where it is used. Yeast artificial chromosome. Uh, it is used in generating whole DNA libraries of genome of higher organisms. You can see in case of human genome project also, the different libraries of the whole human genome was prepared using YAC vectors. And it is also helpful in identifying essential mammalian chromosome sequence which is necessary for 
future construction of specialized mammalian artificial chromosomes that may help in different sequencing and uh, isolation of different genes. Another major application of YAC is in the study of regulation of gene expression by cis acting controlling elements of DNA uh, that are presence uh, that are present either upstream or downstream of large eukaryotic gene after the transfer of these YACs from yeast to mammalian cells. East uh, YAC Genomic Library, it is possible to construct YACs with mega long inserts using precise uh, homologous recombination uh, as, in, uh, as it was done in Human Genome Project. The original DNA sequence of euka eukaryotic genome fragment more than 2 MB in a size can be maintained in a single IAC vector. So uh, this is maintained in yeast so that yeast cells are uh, then preserved under certain conditions so you can uh, get the number of sequences from a particular organism stored in this. So uh, there is also a vector called as a bacterial artificial chromosome that uh, that resembles YAC. So uh, let's see the differences between them configuration. So the YAC is generally lin linear. The bacterial artificial chromosome is circular. The host in YAC is yeast uh, whereas it is bacteria in case of BAC. The copper number is of YAC as it is a larger one can be one only whereas BAC can be one or two. The cloning capacity is unlimited though it is not unlimited it is up to 10 MB. Uh, it is none too low means very low fragments uh, of around 100 KBs can be cloned in this. The chimerism is uh, up to 40% in case of YAC whereas it is not there in BAC. Uh, the YAC integration is relatively unstable as this is a larger DNA vector molecule uh, so uh, generally B, uh, BAC are more stable when cloned. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video please press like button, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.